We're now in the laboratory getting ready to mount our maxillary cast using our bite fork assembly from the pan at Facebook. In preparation for that, we do want to remove the bite fork stabilizer from the bottom of the bite fork. And we do want to set our incisal pin at zero. So I'm going to adjust this to the zero mark and tighten it in place. Now swing this back and we do want to remove the incisal table and replace it with the mounting fixture which slides into place and tightens with the screw. We can now add our bite fork assembly to the mounting fixture and tighten it into place. And we do have a bite fork support system which we can index to the lower magnetic plate and we can raise the teeter-totter up underneath the bite fork and tighten it in place with the screw creating this nice solid support for the cast during the mounting procedures. We can now add our cast to the indentations on our bite fork registration. We can add a mounting plate to the upper frame. We can go ahead and mix some plaster this time and add to the mounting plate and to the cast, making a connection of the upper cast to the upper frame of the articulator. So we'll go ahead and mix some plaster at this time. All right, we go ahead and went ahead and mixed some plaster. And we'll go ahead and add some plaster first to the mounting plate, make sure we get it around the center retention lug really well. We also want to go ahead and fill that mounting plate up because we also have some retention tabs along the lateral edges of the plate. So we'll go ahead and fill that plate up real nice like that. And then we'll add a little bit of plaster here to the model so we can make a connection to the mounting plate. We don't need too much, so we'll just put a little dab there. And now we can go ahead and swing this around until the incisal pin touches the mounting fixture, making a connection of the cast to the mounting plate. If there's any plaster that's extended beyond the realm of the mounting plate, we can go ahead and wipe some of that away at this time. Then I'll give us some room to add plaster later to beef this up and make it look pretty. So we'll go ahead and let this set at this time. The plaster is now set so we can go ahead and swing this open and then we can go ahead and remove the bite fork assembly with the mounting fixture and replace the incisal table and then remove the bite fork support system. We can now go ahead and prepare for mounting the lower cast at this time.